All right, let's do it. Start with those hands up and behind the head. We're gonna start with a nice slow turn side to side. Keep that core nice and tight. Hips facing forward. One more to the right. Bring it to the front. We're gonna close the elbows in front and open nice and wide. Close the elbows in front and repeat. One more. We're gonna cross body, elbow to knee. Side to side. Take it nice and slow. One more. Bring those arms down. Go ahead and swing the arms back in front. And bring them on a diagonal. So today, for today's class, everybody, we are going to be doing 10 exercises for 40 seconds each, 20 seconds off. We're going to repeat through this twice. It's going to be a little bit of a definite core killer. We're going to start with some plank positions, flip it over onto our back, do some back ab positions, and then some glute work at the end. So hopefully you guys are prepped and ready. We're going to start with just, we're going to started with some body weight squats. Let's get those legs a little bit warmed up. Drop it down into a nice little squat. Up and down. Keeping that core nice and tight. Squeezing the glutes at the top. One more. Good, bring it up. Nice wide position. Bring yourself down to the ground, holding here. Bend the knees, sit down into that squat, bring the arms over the head, press it up. And repeat, hinge it over, sit the hips down, hands over the head and press it up. Repeat for one more and up, good. All right, leg swings, very last one. Take your right leg, bringing it forward and back. Letting gravity do the work here. All right, and left side. Swing that leg forward and back. Try to pick it up a little higher in the front. Keep that upper body nice and stable. All right, go ahead and bring it to the back of your mat. We're gonna start with some hand walks. So for the next three exercises, we're gonna be in that nice plank position. Our hand walks are gonna be what starts us. So we're gonna bring our arms up, hinge it over down to the toes, walk those hands out into your plank. Walk it back in. This is going to help warm up our whole body for today. Hit that plank position and then bring it back up. Got 15 seconds left. All right, one more. And walk it back up. Take a second to breathe. We're going to go into mountain climbers. So you can do these slow or fast. You have 40 seconds. So go ahead and try to do whichever one you think you can last the longest in. So again, bend it over. Walk the hands down into a plank. And go. Bring that knee underneath. You can keep it nice and slow moving or increase the intensity and double time it. Almost there. This one's a little hard. 
think you should do something I don't want Less than 10 seconds Maybe you should know that I'm on the go like you And she likes everyone And stop And I never liked you And I was wrong Last plank position We're going to be on our elbows Or hands And we're going to be bringing our hips up Into the air For a V up so I will demonstrate You're going to be in that plank position You're going to bring the butt up Into the air and bring it right back down into that plank. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Get into that plank position. Drive those hips up to the ceiling. Bring it right back down. Make sure you're breathing. If this is a little bit tough for you, go ahead and stay in that plank position and hold it. Almost there. Three, two, one. Bring it down. And bring those legs out in front of you. Oh, tilt my camera down a little bit. Whew. All right, so our next one is going to be kind of like classic crunches. We're going to start with our double leg lift into a hip lift. So your hands are going to be down by your side. If you want to tuck them underneath your low back, to give you a little bit more support, you're going to bring your legs up, they come down. Then once they come back up to the top, I want you to lift those hips off the ground and shoot them up towards the ceiling and then repeat, lower the legs all the way up. So you get a two for one. You need to make this a little bit easier. Keep a bend in the knees, tap the toes down on the ground and keep them bent just like that, okay? That is our very first one. Here we go. In three, two, one. Send those legs up and down. Here we go. Focus on keeping that lower back on the ground. Don't let it extend. One, and break. All right. Toe touch straddles are next. So our legs are gonna come back up in the air. And we are going to open, reach, close, reach. Open, reach, close, and reach. Okay, so we are adding, it's a toe touch, but every time you reach, you're opening and closing those legs. Here we go. And three, two, one. Reach up, open, reach up. Getting those upper abs, and internal obliques, adding some inner thigh in there too. Almost there. Woo. Keep those eyes looking at the ceiling. And break. All right. Bring it up onto the hands and the butt. Kind of like you're about to do a tricep dip. Keep those hands pointed towards your hip. We're going to start with our right leg. It's going to extend out, in, so it's going to start out straight. You bring it in, out, up, down. In, out, up, down. Say it in your head as you're doing it. It will help you. It's a little bit of a brain teaser here. All right, here we go. Sitting up, core tight. 
Bring it in, right leg in, extend it out, lift it up as high as you can, as straight as you can, and repeat. This is gonna help a nice internal oblique, slow down in that hip flexor. We're gonna do our left side after this, so keep it going. Bend, straighten, up, down. Bend, straighten, up, down. Don't let that leg hit the mat yet. Five seconds. Yeah, and stop. Woo. All right, we're gonna switch to our left leg. Send the left leg out nice and straight. Get those hands pointed towards you. Keep that core. You want the hips rounded under. You don't want to be sitting up with that hyperextended back. Bring it down. Pull that belly button into the spine. Here we go. Lift that left leg up off the ground. Bend it in. Extend. Up. Down. In. Out. Try to keep it as straight as you can. It's okay if there's a little bend in it. You might find that one leg is definitely a little stronger than the other. For me, my left leg is always the weak one. Three seconds, finish it out. And break. All right. Whew. Nice. We're gonna go into our bridges. So for this one, we're gonna be in a bridge march. So roll it onto the back. Okay, in this position, we're gonna bring our feet a little bit further away from our butt. Lift the toes off the ground though, just a little bit. In your bridge position, you're gonna be lifting one leg, placing it down, lifting that other leg. If this is a little bit too intense or a little bit out of your comfort range, just go ahead and stay in that bridge and hold it and bring it back down. All right, we have five seconds. Pull that belly button to spine. Squeeze those glutes together and drive those hips up. Lift the toes and bring one leg up and down, marching. Take it nice and slow. Try to stay on those heels. If you have to come down and reset, go right ahead and then bring it back up. And break, bring it down. We have some rainbows. Bring it to hands and knees. We're gonna do our right leg first. You guys have ever done rainbows with me before. The straight leg to the back. We're gonna start with our right leg, extend it out, and you place it to the right side of you. Bring it up and over that leg, over, cross it to the left side. Up and over. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, lift it up and over, tap, up and over, tap. It's not about height. You wanna make sure that back isn't hyper extending when you're lifting it. Keep that leg nice and strong and squeeze. Press those shoulders away from the hands. Nice tight core. If it's a little bit easier for your brain, you can just lift the leg up and down, tap it up and down. Almost there. And break. Rock it back to a child's pose for a little bit of a stretch. We're gonna move to our left leg. Focus on only moving that leg. Try not to let the back or hips or shoulders shift. Open those legs so that they are directly underneath your hips. A little bit of space between them. Press those shoulders away from the wrist. Nice tight core. Here we go. Extend that left leg and go. Bring it up. And down. Squeeze those glutes at the top, make them work extra hard. Almost 
Four more there. Three, two, one. Bring it down and breathe. If you need a sip of water, go ahead and grab it. I know this isn't a very high intensity class. No. Burn, for sure. We're gonna start back from the beginning, which is our hand walk. All right, bring it up to standing. We're gonna hinge at the hips, walk those hands out. This time I want you to add a shoulder tap. Tap, tap, walk it back in. Here we go, three, two, one. Bring it out. Breathing, you got 10 seconds left. Get one more in. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, we have our mountain climbers coming up. Ten seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Bring those knees underneath. Fifteen seconds left, guys. Feel free to hold that plank, hold it, take a nice deep breath, and then keep it going for six seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! Bring it down. Last one in our plank position is our V up. Feel free to do these on your wrists, on your hands, or your elbows. All right, here we go. In five. Four, three, two, one. Bring those legs up, hips up to the ceiling, down flat, up to the ceiling, and flat. Take it nice and slow if you need to. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and breathe. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> On to your back for our double leg lift to a hip lift. All right, nice and flat. Legs up to the ceiling, bring the feet down, and lift the hips up. Drive those hips up. Nice tight core. Pull that belly button down into the ground. And break. All right. Now right, we're getting our lower abs. Now we're going to go for our upper abs with that straddle. Toe touch. All right. Legs up. Ankles together. Reach. Open the legs apart, reach through, close the legs, reach again. Keep those eyes 
looking up at the ceiling. behind you. Extend that left leg out straight. I'm going to start with the opposite side. Pull that belly button in, nice tight core. Pull the left leg in, out, up, and down. The more sitting up straight you are, the harder this is. The more you lean back, it'll make it a little bit easier but target more of your upper half. So feel what feels right for you. Should be feeling it in that quad as well, that hip flexor. All right, five seconds. And break. Woo. Extend that right leg out straight. Left leg is bent. Place those hands towards Nice big breath in. Engage that core. Here we go. In three, two, one. Right leg comes in. Extend out. Up, down. Try that for you. You're starting to feel it a little bit. Twelve seconds. Keep that leg as straight as you can. Point that toe. Three, two, one, and breathe. All right. We have our bridge marches, and then our rainbows, and then a quick little stretch. All right. Place those hands down by the side. Walk the feet out a little farther away. Wiggle the toes. Pull the belly button to spine and lift. Holding here or adding your march. Keeping those hips up. Keep those things working. down. Woo. All right, rainbows. We're going to start with our left leg. You can bring it onto the elbows if your wrists are feeling a little sore. Left leg extends out nice and straight. Lift it up and over. Half half leg, think side to side. Or more like diagonal side to side goal is to try to keep it as straight as you can, squeezing all the muscles in that leg. Try flexing the foot, see if you feel the difference. And then point it. Do you feel your glutes working more with a flexed foot? Keep it going. Five seconds. And rock it back to your child's pose. Ooh. All right, we're into our right side. Down onto the elbows or in the hands. Right leg comes out, extend up and over. Keeping that core nice and stable.
Louise, we're almost there. Three, two, one, and bring it down and in. Oh, oh man, I'm so red today. Oh man, all right guys, you have survived. 40 seconds of anything is a lot more difficult than what we're used to. So if you hang in and you guys made it through, give yourself a pat on the back. We're gonna start in a nice little butterfly position. I want you to lean it forward, placing those elbows on the legs, opening, and pressing down, stretching out those hips. And then sit up nice and tall with a nice flat back. And then curve it over. Take a nice big deep breath in. Lean it on to your back. Roll it like a little ball, pulling the knees into the chest. And then take that right leg, cross it over the left for a little figure four, pulling that leg in behind the left thigh. Rocking that leg side to side very gently, nice and slowly. I like to pull it over to the left side, feel that stretch a little bit more in that right side. This helps stretch that psoas and that low glue up to your low back. Good, extend that right leg out, switch it with the left. The left leg goes on top of the right. Place the hand behind the right thigh, pull it in. Take some deep breaths and slowly rock that leg side to side. If you find a very tight spot, hold it in that spot. And take a couple deep breaths. Good, exhale, release that leg. Extend the left out straight and pull the right leg into the chest. We're gonna pull it up and over across the left side. Nice little counter stretch here. Try to keep both shoulders on the ground, square to the ceiling. Bring it back through center, switch with the left. Same thing, bring that left leg over the right side. Good, bring it back in. We're gonna finish with our happy baby. Bring those feet up into the air. Press the knees down on each side of you. Flex those feet. And release and bring yourself back up to a nice seated position. If you want to take a nice little stretch here, you can take that leg, cross it over, look behind you, stretch that lower back. And same thing with the other side, cross that leg over, turn and look behind you. All right, stretch out anything else you feel is needed. Don't forget to stretch your wrist today, everybody. And have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. Bye guys. Okay, thanks, thanks, Elena. You're welcome. Thanks, Lena. See you later. See ya.